45 pound bar. I'm out here in my backyard. All right, we're gonna do pinch. It's 125 pounds. <sighs> Chasing the sun today. Here's my uh, 79 pound anvil. Okay, pick it up like this. It's a horn lift. Named after David Horn, because he's so famous. Nah, just kidding. Ah, uh, this is the only heavy one I got, so pretty easy. But anvils are not cheap. If you can get one for a dollar a pound, you're doing a great job. <clears throat> this right here is another foot dumbbell. It's about a hundred and I'd say 30 pounds. I got these in the scrap yard, just threw something heavy in the middle of it, thick. So we're gonna do a little gauntlet today. And a lot of people have been picking up a plain bar off the ground, thinking it's some kind of feat of strength or something. But uh, I like to add weight to the end of mine. So here's a 25 pound. <coughs> There you go. It's called snow shoveling up here in the north. It's 25 pounds, it's a good workout. For, uh, at round two, I added 25 to the pinch, 150. Pretty easy. Foot dumbbell. This is the one I tell you, I dug a hole in my garage and each time I lift it, I dig the hole deeper. So I'm reaching further to get it. This is what I was talking about. So I think my fat bar is coming along pretty good. So getting a little stronger on that. Do the snow plow again at 25. And I got two six pound sledges. So I'll do it simultaneously. I did sledge a lot off the camera the other day. But these are really easy. So. But anyhow, here's uh, round three. Uh, 165 on pinch. <clears throat> Pretty good. These outside plates are really sharp on the edge. The foot again. Tell you what, it feels heavier than 130. I gotta get it weighed again. I don't know what it is. I'm wore out. We'll say 130. Oh. Good little workout on top of what I've already done for the last 
eight days. I think this is day nine, day 10. No, day nine, I got basement footage I'll show after this. I'll show it backwards because all I'm doing is uh, pressing, they got the 270 and uh, with a thick bar on an incline because I don't have a gym anymore. And uh, I got some more tips for you. So watch the rest of this video. <laughs> Wow, it feels strong there. Let's try something. You want to try something? Oh, I miss working outside. All right. I haven't done this in a while. Probably 10 years. Let's see what happens. There we go. Woo. That felt good. Don't ever get hit by a flying amble. It hurts. Oh, we gotta do the snow plow. And it puts big dents in your yard. All right, 25 pounds. Snow plow. All right, this is round four. I don't know how to count, forgive me. This is uh, 70 pounds now, and I turned it around backwards. So this smooth side will be here, let's see what happens. So 170. I'll take that. putting holes in my yard, but we're having fun. Boy, I gotta get that thing weighed. Just smash my finger. My hands are cold to touch. They ain't warm at all. But it's a way to condition your hands if you want to get them tough. Work out with them when they're freezing cold. I mean, touching the steel. Yeah, there's nothing warmer about my hands. But that's what they were made for, to work in all weather. Be some kind of record. Woo. <sighs> Reason I ain't doing it with the other shoulder, I went to the chiropractor this morning. I don't want to pull it back out. That's why I ain't doing it with the other shoulder. When I when Dr. Hawks fixed me, I like to stay healthy for a couple days. So, I don't know. Now, yeah, that's my strong side too. So, oh. I got through the hammers last time. These are really light. Okay, round number five. My hands are getting toast. So here we go. Round number five. Ugh. Actually, 170 again. I ain't gonna smash my fingers again. Assisted fat bar. 
on the left. <clears throat> Anything off the ground on my left, I'm gonna take it. <sighs> that was easy. That felt good. Cold steel, cold steel, ain't nothing fun, fun to play with. All right, let's try something. You wanna try something? Kick it up a notch. It might not be pretty, but I'm gonna try to get it. <clears throat> Take 25 off. Put 35 on snow plow. Not today, sports fans. Woo. That's good. I'm happy with the 25. Real happy with the 25. Well, these got lighter. Ooh. <clears throat> 79 pounds. <clears throat> Working on some strong hands. Cool downs. 45 pound plates. Works the grip a little bit, but. Get to the point where you can do this all day. All right, we're gonna transfer the uh, horn first. <clears throat> we're gonna transfer the plates. Fingertip workout here. I guess it would help with grippers and stuff. Whew. That was a good ending. All right, remember I was going to show you something? Here you go, right here. For where we put it. All right. It's a kitty litter box filled with bent up horseshoes, nails, and a bunch of concrete in it. And what I do, I do single finger, single finger lifts. It's like that. I guess it's about 60 pounds because it's lighter than the anvil. 
that's what you do. Just do single finger lifts. And actually, it's a good reaction movement. As soon as you put it down, you'll switch fingers to pull it up. I got real strong with this. When my fingers got real strong, like I said, this fingers right here are your weakest. I don't even worry with my pinky on that because I get my pinky on the lever and I don't want to rip my pinky off. So thanks for coming by for the ninth workout. If I got any more to do, I'll uh, do it off camera because I got to haul all this in the, yard, in the shed and fix all my divots in the yard. Y'all take care and thanks for coming by. Bye.